Hi, folks. Rob Rogers here from the University of Maryland in the United States. Now, welcome to the medical education video series. This is a new series that I'm putting together, and I haven't quite decided if it's going to be once a week or a couple times a month. We'll just have to see how things go. But the purpose of this video series is to discuss great websites, blogs, podcasts, and all topics of emergency medicine education. So we're going to tour the internet, we're going to go to websites, we're going to interview people and have a little bit of fun with this. Now, what I'm going to try to do is keep the videos relatively short, five, six, seven, maybe 10 minutes um, maximum in order to decrease boredom and prevent people from falling asleep. But I figured that uh, since there's a lot of great things out there in medical education, uh, why not put together a little video series, a little bit something like what Amal Matu has done for the EKG video series. Now, uh, I want your feedback on this. If you think it's something that we should not be doing, uh, please feel free to email someone else. I don't want to hear that. But if you have any good feedback for me or you want something covered, you have a great website or blog that you think would be great for this series, then please email me at robrogersmd at gmail.com. Now, this first review, and we're going to do a little bit of an experiment this month, is a review or an overview, I should say, of lifeinthefastlane.com. Now, if you don't know about this website, then I don't know where you've been for the past 10 years or so. This is a great website in emergency medicine put together by none other than who you see right here, the um, ever-loving Dr. Mike Cadigan. Uh, you can see right here. You can see his melon right here. And Chris Nixon. These guys are really great people, brilliant educators. They put together this really great site. And some other people here that I don't quite know, This uh, these people consist of uh, Ed Burns and Kane Guthrie. These are some of the people who work on the blogging aspect of this website. But this website, if you don't know about it, is a fantastic resource if you want to get out there into the world of emergency medicine education. It's got lots and lots of neat little um, interesting topic areas. One thing that's been put together recently is R&R. Uh, in the fast lane, put together by Chris Nixon. This is kind of a review of of articles that have come out. I'm going to click on this right here. This is the latest R and R series that has come out, and basically people can contribute articles, and you can pull those things up and look at the text. Um, this one right here, for example, is the importance of cognitive errors and diagnosis and strategies to minimize them by uh, Pat Crosskery. So uh, every so often, I think it's maybe once a week. Um, Chris, correct me if I'm wrong, but um, there's all kinds of topics that are discussed on the R&R, &R, and it, it's a great way to keep up with what's out there in emergency medicine, so please check that part of the website out. Now, another interesting part of this website is the area for podcast. Somehow these guys keep up with every single podcast in emergency medicine and give you a little bit of a summary. As you can see here, you've got Rob Orman. Have you heard of Rob Orman? Rob Orman... Uh, the best way I can describe Rob Orman from ERCast is he is the Barry White of the emergency medicine podcasting world. That's about the best way I can describe it. So if you know who Barry White is, or if you don't know who Barry White is, go to YouTube or iTunes or something and just listen to his voice, and that is Rob Orman. So uh, that's Rob Orman's ERCast. That's a great podcast. There are some podcasts that I'm not that familiar with. Um, EM Rap TV here, you've got Amal Matu talking about EKG stuff and you go down here to Scott Weingart you've got EM Crit you can go on and on and there's lots and lots of good podcasts pediatrics critical care medicine uh, smart EM David Newman Rob Rogers do you know Rob Rogers whoa look out for that podcast so you've got a listing of the podcasts that come out in our specialty and it's a great way to keep up you can also get some applications for your iPhone I just downloaded a couple of those recently, and I'll just pull up my iPhone right here. And uh, it's my Australian accent for you there. Uh, I have got two programs that we could perhaps talk about in later series. One, one is called Downcast, and one is called Instacast. Now, you can get these for your iPhone or other phones, and it's a way of linking which podcast you'd like to follow. And when those podcasts are updated you get the feed directly to your phone. You can listen to this podcast. We'll talk about that probably later with some other medical education things. So back to the website. 
lifeinthefastlane.com. My goal here is to talk like an Australian for the rest of this series uh, because this is an Australian website. See, I've already lost the accent. So uh, we've got the blog, we've got exams. You can take, uh, take a look at some of these things here if you're taking exams in certain parts of the world. Education, lots and lots of good stuff. I'm going to just go down here to procedures under education, and there's lots of website links. There's uh, external links, Life in the Fast Lane links. You can look at videos and pictures, and it is a really, really great resource. So um, these guys are kind of all over the place. Mike Cadigan, Chris Nixon are traveling all over the world, going to different conferences. I, I met Mike at USC Essentials in 2011, uh, back in November 2011. Really, really interesting guy. Just absolutely brilliant with with medical education and technology. And uh, he is the man. He is the man. And he, I believe he drinks Foster's Lager uh, or something like that. Uh, we've got so other education things, clinical exam, history, toxicology, uh, lots and lots of humor on this website. Uh, if you don't like a little bit of cynicism and a little bit of humor, a lot of bit of humor, you know, just be careful. These guys are fantastic. Uh, lots of humor mixed in here. You've got some uh, really great resources. Again, podcast, all of the blogs that are out there in emergency medicine, or at least most of them in emergency medicine, you can get to them through this link. And this is great because this lists all of the blogs that you can follow. So you've got EM Crit. Academic Life and Emergency Medicine by Michelle Lynn. That's another great blog. Uh, ERCast. You've got Life in the Fast Lane with Mike Cadigan, Chris Nixon, Kane Guthrie, and Ed Burns. And uh, I'm not sure, really sure what accent that was, but um, Blog Barigmi. At least, at least that's how I think you pronounce it. That's a really funny and great podcast. Grunt Doc. You've got. Just look at the list of uh, blogs you've got here. Just. They just keep growing every day, it seems like, and, and it's really hard to keep up with them. This website does a great job of helping you keep up with what's important and what's out there in emergency medicine. I think a lot of us feel like we don't know where to go to get information, and we sometimes hear about a blog or a podcast or some interesting education site months to years after it's come out. This centralized website run by these fantastic guys is a great way to keep up with what's out there in emergency medicine. If you want to stay fresh and you want to stay up to date and know what's out there in the web 2.0 world, podcasting, blogs, and so forth, this website is for you. Again, that's lifeinthefastlane.com. Just go to lifeinthefastlane.com. It's very difficult. You just type in www.lifeinthefastlane.co. Him. And you've got Mike Cadigan and Chris Nixon. So this is the first medical education series of videos. Uh, I've chosen lifeinthefastlane.com to talk about just a little bit. We've got a million things to talk about, and we'll get back to those with the next series. I hope you enjoy. I'm Rob Rogers from the University of Maryland, signing off.